FA in the Highlands is rallying to keep the doors open and the cats fed. Lucky Cat Cafe put out a plea for help a few weeks ago. Wave News reporter Olivia Russell made a visit this morning and got to meet some of the fairy friends living there. I want to be as relaxed as Junie B right here one day, and you can do that by coming to Lucky Cat Cafe. So I'm over here with Carla. You all are a nonprofit cat cafe, right? Yes, we are. We're the state's only nonprofit. So there are several other cat cafes in Kentucky, but we are the only nonprofit one. So we hope that people will choose to visit and adopt from a nonprofit cat cafe. And I know a couple months ago you put out this plea on Facebook. You all were worried about being able to stay open. How has the community responded? Yes, the community response was awesome. It was way more than we ever expected. Like we thought we might have to close at the end of summer. It was just the income was just not covering the expenses, which expenses are going up all the time. And we've all seen small businesses close and we thought, well, that might happen to us too. So we put a plea out there on Facebook and it was amazing how much the community responded. They do not want us to close. <clears throat> so we will be open the rest of the year for sure. And this is a great experience that people have, at least for the summer too, where they can come by here tell us what it's like and the whole process of when they come what they're going to experience so this is a very old house and it has a lot of character to it it's a hundred years old and it's bright blue it's easy to find on the street and because it's very homey here the cats feel like they're at home too they're not in cages here mm -hmm. like you see at a pet store or a shelter where there's cages and that's their only option but here the cats are free roaming and it's their home too so they can relax and play with each other and they they are fed plenty we take good care of them they need brushing and attention and most of all they need love yes and uh, there is plenty of love to go around here and if people fall in love with one of them they can even take them home right they sure can all these cats have had everything done that needs to be done they've been spayed and neutered they have their shots they've been seen by a vet uh, they're microchipped and they're socialized to be in a home, so it's an easy transition from a cat cafe to a home. Perfect. Well, thank you so much for introducing us to all of our little friends here, and hopefully they find a forever home. Well, thank you to Wave for having us. <laughs> Reporting at Lucky Cat Cafe, Olivia Russell, Wave News.